Calculus optimization problem number one. The volume of a cylindrical tin can with a top and a bottom is 16 pi cubic inches. If a minimum amount of tin is used to construct the can, what must be the height of the can in inches? And as I like to do for problems like this, is to make a, a little sketch. And here we have the top of a can, and we have the, the bottom of the can, and seen behind, it'll look like this. The height of the can is going to be H, and other dimensions of the can, we have, of course, a radius, and of course, two times the radius will be the diameter. We're trying to find the height of the can that will give us the optimal, uh, the least amount of tin uh, that will be used to produce 16 pi cubic inches in volume. And so we're going to go look at the equations. Well, what equations are we going to have? Well, they're going to be, first of all, we have the volume equation for a can. And so the, the, the volume of a solid is going to be the base times the height of that solid. So we have the base is going to be uh, pi r squared. That will be the area of a circle times the height. And we know that that's going to be uh, 16 pi. That will be the volume of the can. And so we're going to go ahead and, and solve. So on both sides of the equation, pi will cancel out. So we have 16 is equal to r squared times h. And so we're going to go ahead and solve this equation for r and r squared. Well, uh, to solve for r squared, we divide both sides of the equation by h. And so we have r squared is going to be equal to 16 over h. And we can further go ahead and solve for r by taking the square root of both sides. And so we're going to have r and it would be a plus or minus the square root of 16, which is 4, over the square root of h, which we're going to leave as the square root of h. Well, can we have a negative uh, value for a radius or a geometric shape? No, we cannot. So our radius is going to be 4 divided by the square root of h. Next, we're going to go use the equation for surface area and the the formula for surface area equals 2 pi r h and that will be the lateral area so 2 pi r h that's going to be kind of the label of the can that's put on there plus uh, the area of the top and bottom well the area as we looked before is, is pi r squared so we have 2 pi r squares and to, we're going to find next the lowest value of h that can be. Well, see, we have an h here in this function, but elsewhere we have r's. But fortunately, we have already solved for r squared and r, and we know that we can replace this r squared here with 16 over h, and we can replace this single r here with 4 over square root of h. And so now we're just going to do a rewrite uh, solving for h. So we have surface area is going to be equal to 2 pi and substituting r we have 4 over square root of h and times h. And we have plus 2 pi and r squared is 16 over h. And so I'll just write this as 16 over h. And simplifying out, we're going to have surface area is equal to 8 pi. And uh, simplifying here, we have h over square root of h. Well, it's, it, this is, h can be re rewritten as square root of h, square root of h, so they would cancel out. So we're going to have 8 pi square root of h plus 
2 times 16 is 32 pi over h. Uh, now, uh, we're going to differentiate because we're going to try to find the minimum value. So we're going to have some kind of, we're looking for some kind of function, and we know at the minimum of that function, the, the tangent of the tangent line will be horizontal. So we're going to differentiate this function and set the derivative equal to zero, and then solve for h. That'll give us the right, the height of the can. And so to do this first, we're going to rewrite this equation, what I call calculus-friendly form, to use the power rule. So we write is 8 pi, and the, and the square root of h is going to be h to the 1 half power. And here we have uh, plus 32 pi, and divided by h, well that's going to be simply h to the negative 1 power. And so here's the next step. Now we're going to use the power rule, which we'll call I will then call this surface area prime, and so we take the derivative of this first part using the power rule. Well, this one half comes out front times eight pi, and it'll be h to the negative one half power. One half minus one is negative one half, and here we have uh, we're going to have minus one, so it'll be negative or minus 32 pi h and negative 1 minus 1 is to the negative 2 power. And so uh, the next thing I'm going to do is simplify and rewrite this back in rational form. And so we have we have surface area prime equals that 8 over 2 becomes 4, 4 pi over the h to the negative one half power is going to be over the square root of h minus 32 pi and h to the negative two power is going to be h squared over h squared here. And so now we're going to optimize by setting this function equal to zero. So zero equals four pi over square root of h minus 32 pi over h squared, and we're going to go ahead and add 32 pi over h squared to both sides of the equation, and that's going to be 32 pi over h squared is equal to 4 pi over square root of h. And next, I'm going to come up and work down from the right here. Uh, the uh, the pi, pi cancel out, and if we divide both sides of the equation by 4 here, we're going to get, we're going to get 8, 8 over h squared is equal to 4 over square root of h. Wait, a 4 canceled out there, that's going to be 1 over square root of h. And then we can, uh, we can take the reciprocal of both of these fractions, will be equal to each other. So we can rewrite this equation as h squared over 8 equals square root of h. And we can cross multiply the 8 and divide by square root of h, so we have h squared over square root of h equals 8. And so we have h squared divided by the square root of h, which is going to be h to the 3 halves power is going to be equal to 8. And so to solve for h, if we simply take the reciprocal exponents of both sides, these will cancel out. So we have h equals 8 to the 2 thirds power. Well, that, what that'll be is it'll be h is equal to the cube root of, of 8 squared, which is cube root of 64, and cube root of 
what times what times what equals 64? So h is going to be equal to 4 inches. So if we take, so h equals 4 inches, and just to see if it makes sense, look at our answer makes sense, if h is 4 inches here, and our radius is 2, well our volume of the can is going to be uh, pi r squared, which would be pi times 4 times 4, which would be 16. So this is our, this is our height. And it's just been a process of following through the principles of using horizontal tangents to find an optimum minimum for this function. Thanks.